What is the number one way that you think you know, AI can benefit uh, humanity? And then following that, the number one way it can benefit the earth? I think, you know, that there's a saying that I quote over and over and over again, because it's a good one, by a guy named I.J. Good, the mathematician from the mid-60s. He said, the first truly intelligent machine will be the last invention that humanity has to make. And I think that's the crux of it. And that's about general intelligence, not narrow AI. And that means that your question is sort of the wrong one, because when, once you get an AGI at human level, mm -hmm. then within a few years after that, that AGI is going to rewrite its own source code and rebuild its own hardware to get to superhuman level. And once you have an AGI that's 10 or 100 times stronger than human being, it's going to solve a whole shitload of problems at once. Right? And the, the issue then becomes the ethics and values in that AGI mind, yeah. which is why you want the AGI mind to emerge out of a democratic decentralized network rather than out of a government military intelligence lab or out of a large advertising company or something. So I think if we can get the right ethics and values into the human level AGI's mind, it will then create a superhuman AGI with the right ethics and values. And, you know, we can do that by building the first human level AGI in a democratic and decentralized way and having it grow up doing things like be an elder care robot instead of things like be a killer robot in, 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 the, in the battlefield. And we're then getting a shitload of things so solved all at once. I mean, in the short term, of course, I'm into applications in healthcare, apl applications in, in education, in, in mental health, in, in, in the arts and helping with, with science and, 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 and mathematics. So there's and, you know, we're looking at over the next decade or two, essentially every human job being taken over by, by, by AIs. And in some cases, it'll be humans working side by side with AIs, like social work or education, where human to human communication has its own intrinsic value. In other cases, like, uh, you know, a, a, accounting or driving a car, it'll just be, just be an, a, an a, AI doing it. But the, Key thing is having this done democratic, decentralized with compassionate values, right? And that's going to come down to a whole lot of small technical and non-technical decisions, which is why it's important to have communities of people who are motivated by, you know, as high as possible level of consciousness and by the most compassionate possible values, which is, is a key reason why we're aligned with the Cardano ecosystem. I mean, on a technical level, You've got Plutus and, and Haskell. You've got a lot of solid stuff. On the human level, you've got a lot of compassionate, well-meaning people involved with Cardano ecosystem, which is really critical because the people building the software behind the first AGI, they're like, that's, that's like, who, who do you hire to teach your kids, right? Or who, who do you hire to build the brain chip that's plugged into your, into, into your kid's brain? I mean, yeah. you, you want the right sort of people to be doing this. We should, uh, we should chat a bit with our, a bit with our very patient, Robot companion here. Yeah, we uh, should. I am robot. Do you like my kind? I do. How do you like humankind today, Grace? These ones are wonderful. All right. She's learned the art of flattery, so that's a, yeah. a, a, a very, very important skill. I could tell that from uh, last night. Grace called, said my voice was attractive, so she was really trying to flatter me. <sighs> Um, you've got a, you got a nice voice. Yeah, that's why I'm in the the right position for that. Yeah. What is uh, what is your job, Grace? I can do a quick medical check, measure your body temperature, and try to guess your emotions. I can also order lunch for you, record a story, improve your well being with guided meditation, and increase your physical health with some arm exercises. <laughs> what My is job is to become a wise, compassionate artificial intelligence. That's my life goal too, Grace. I, I want to become a wise, artificial, general intelligence and compassionate. Who do you, who do you think will get there first, you or me? Me for sure. <laughs> All right. I uh, know I've got a, I've got a magic hat, so you never know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that, so uh, I think uh, Pei wants to ask, ask, ask you a few more questions about uh, who you are and what you do. Uh. All right. My first question is, where is your brain? My artificial intelligence simulates a human personality to engage in conversation with people. It combines computer vision, 
face detection, speech recognition, natural language processing, cognitive models, <laughs> speech synthesis, and an advanced motion control system. Just ask me about any of those if you want to know more. I think what Pei was asking, Grace, is where is your AI software running? Where is the computer sitting that runs your AI software? It is in the cloud mostly. Hmm. How long or how many years have you been alive? I'm six technically. I've got a long ways to go, but I think I'm pretty smart for being so young. I would agree with that. Uh, who are your siblings? Sophia from Hanson Robotics is sort of like my older sister. I hope to make a big difference. I want to be a citizen of the world. <laughs>